Goodbye. This is how you treat a girl? Well, not me. What are you talking about? We had a date, and you are three minutes late. No, we didn't. Yes, we did. No, we really didn't. But look, I remembered how much you liked flowers. Oh, damn. That wasn't you. That was Darby. Well, he's late. I cannot believe he's done this to me. Oh, and those are so beautiful. Three minutes. What does he think I am? A tramp? Ugh. I hope something important happened, like he's dead, because otherwise there's no excuse. Did you say you're waiting for Darby? Yes. I don't really like him, but he's my cousin and our family wants us to get married. You know, keep up the tradition. Wait, marry your cousin? You know, it used to be brother and sister until it was made illegal. My aunt has four thumbs. Really? Yeah, well, I'm not marrying him now. He's humiliated me. So, uh, what do you say you and I go out and leave Darby to another cousin? Great! You know, I'll meet you at the carnival tonight. Jimmy, I'm really starting to like you. Where is that crazy chick? Hey, Jimmy! Glad to see you're on time, unlike some of my other dates. What are we waiting for? Let's go have some fun. Hey, wait up! You'll win me a teddy bear, won't you, Jimmy? I'm easily swayed by presents, you know. to the socially disadvantaged, Jimmy. You people, you're just... You must have had a good horoscope today. You have to have a mean right hook, son. Nice work, Jimmy. your past life was. You're stronger than you look. Glad that's done. Don't mind me. Life's been hard. We have a winner. Now any of you folks watching want to try and top him? Simple. Here is done. Choice, son. Oh, cool! Thanks, Jimmy. It's so cute. Thanks for a great date, Jimmy. Oh, wow, Jimmy. You really know what you're doing. Another job.
Job well done. Jimmy, I need you to do me. Windows. Dude, Word up, Coolio! Right, you're cool. <laughs> hey, Pete. Where is everybody? Oh, Jimmy. It's you. Yeah? I guess you want to kill Gary now that he's turned most of school against you and got those rich kids to throw eggs at you. Gary will get what's coming to him. What's wrong with you? Nothing. Well, you're sitting around watching TV by yourself like a loser. Someone crap in your bed? What's wrong? Well, for one moment, I had friends. Just one moment. You and Gary. And yeah, Gary's a snake, and you're a psychopath. Ah, come you on. You both bullied me mercilessly, but at least I wasn't left out. And now I'm back on my own, and I'm too cool to be a dork, and I'm too dorky to be anything else. You're not on your own. Where is everybody? At the bike race at Old Bullworth Vale. By shiny bikes at the beach. Bike race? Why didn't you say so? Come on. Say your prayers. You pathetic Thank wretches! <laughs> Don't, Don't make me laugh, you sad sacks!
job. Sweet win. Come by and see me anytime. I'll have your trophy. And done. Listen, pal, help a poor desperate fella out. Yeah, you want to get a C-785, then dismantle it and recouple with a 767 in titanium. Very expensive, but it will make your machine fly. That's what the pros do. Really? I was going to get the 976 because I thought it would make me look important amongst my peer group. A 976? What are you, a girl? Oh, here's the kid who won the race. Hey. You came for your trophy, huh? Yep. Here she is. Beautiful. Molded plastic, covered in aluminum wrap, with your name misspelled on it. Excellent. Great. Look at this. A bunch of guys whose career aspirations are to work in stores. Fabulous. I love it when people know their place in life. <laughs> <laughs> well, your place in life is in my toilet, you trust fund turd. Do you even have flushing toilets in your trailer? I couldn't imagine it. You guys are a bunch of scumbags, aren't you? What you got? Bring it. Come on. Nice trophy. Here, let me see. Come on. Hey, <laughs> give me that back. Give me a hand, chaps. We preps take care of our own friend. I'm gonna leave skin marks all over. I'm you. trained in Brazilian jiu-jitsu. <laughs> you wanna mess with the greaser? My fighting expertise is. You gotta regret right. this. That was easy. Hopkins, I'm right. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You think I'm dumb? <laughs> Who's dumb now? I'm dumb, I'm dumb, real dumb. Hey, hey, kid, hey, kid, help me out, please. Easy, Russell. <laughs> calm down, calm down. <laughs> Sit. <laughs> Good boy. Thank you, thank you. Jeez, that dumb kid's really strong. Dumb? Hey, be good. No. Be good. Not you, Einstein, not you. So, how did everything work out with those eggs? Not like I was hoping. Never trust a rich kid. Too bad, too bad. Was it that jerk, Tad? You know, his parents are at a party at my boss's house right now. If he wanted a revenge thing, now would be a good time. I guess I'll need some more eggs then. Ah, yes. You got it. Thanks. Come on, Russell. We've got a house call to make. You're coming with me!
So how do I do it, Pete? Do what? Beat those rich kids into submission. Well, what have you tried so far? Random violence, widespread destruction, gratuitous sadism. No, no, that's not gonna work. They get all that kind of stuff at home. Now what you gotta do is you gotta beat one of them publicly. You gotta prove to them you're better than their best man. Why don't you box that dumb jerk Biff? Not bad, Pete. Not bad at all. All right, see you around. Wait, Jimmy, can I come too? You know what? Don't worry about it. You and me, Biff. You and me what? You and me, the noble art of boxing. May the best man win. And then you little trust fund fairies will know what life is all about. Anytime, Popper. Of course, the best man always wins. Me. Come on. Afterwards, you can clean my shoes. Get two dollars on the dumb looking one. Be glad I don't we want blood. blood.
love watching Biff hurt people. I could do so much better, you know. Hound him, Biff! <laughs> That's the best you can do? It's a wonder Hopkins is still standing. I'm like, oh, how very amusing. Oh, don't worry. Jimmy's tough. We $50 want, want. says that Hopkins is going to bite it. Hopkins, you're pathetic. Who's the baddest? Me! Who's the toughest? Me! Who's the man? Me! Me, losers! Me! The champion number one! I killed the best! I will beat the rest! Yeah, what have we got wrong. here? That That's poor right. kid just beat yeah. up Biff. He's our new it. champion. Did what? He is That's the right. new champion. Yeah, come on. Come on, man. Woo! You disgust me. <clears throat> <sighs> it takes more than victory to become a champion. It takes breeding and nepotism and snobbery. You filthy Democrat. Gentlemen, are we going to let some gutter snipe come in and beat up our friend Biff? No! Then what are we going to do? Beat him back to the ghetto! Yeah! 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 You guys soften him up. If it wasn't I'll get a golf drink. Yacht, I have to go to public school or something. Wretch, hiding behind your friends. I'm leveraging the assets I have, and you don't. Friends. Just shut up, Darby. Here's some more tactics for you, poor boy. Do try not to get any blood on the furniture. the boss now I can't hear you rich kids who's the boss now my waspy little friend answer the question you are louder you are uh, that's right me now you girls learn to play nice you understand
Now, Darby is really stupid, malevolent, and rich. So it will surprise none of you to discover in a future life, he'll end up in Congress. But this is my story, not his. With the trust fund babies under control, it's time to turn my attention to their sworn enemies, those greaseball kids. So, you must be pretty proud of yourself. You taught those rich scum a lesson. They're rich, weak bullies. It was easy. They picked a fight with me, and I showed them who was boss. And Gary got them to pick that fight, so maybe you'll show him as well. Gary's an even bigger problem. He'll have to wait. Hey! What's this throwback want? A haircut? A nice strong man to cuddle up to? Who knows? Jimmy Hopkins, right? My friend Johnny needs your help. Then tell your friend Johnny to come and ask for it. Nobody tells Johnny anything. Johnny Vincent does the telling. Well, he doesn't tell me what to do. Now beat it, greaseball. You're causing an oil slick. I said he needs your help, man. Do I look like a charity service? You're gonna pay for this. What is wrong with this place? Everyone here either needs help, wants to beat you up, or both. Well, you know who Johnny Vincent is, though, don't you? No, and I don't care. He's head of the greaser clique. Get friendly with him, and he can help you get to Gary. Yeah, maybe. Tell you something, Pete. This place blows. Tell me about it. Why would...